there has been a major leap with AI in our lives and it's not going to change anytime soon. It's only going to get better and better. AI has changed the way we live our lives. It has changed the way we run our businesses, the way we do things. People are even scared about their jobs. So is AI going to take your job? Is it going to take the job of a blogger or a copywriter? Nope. It's only the people that use these AIs that are most likely to take your job. So right now, it's important that you master the use of these AIs. These AIs can help us build our businesses faster, smarter, and better. In this video, you're going to discover how to use AI to create a profitable blog post. My name is Charles, and I love to see people and businesses grow. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Turn on the notification so you can see videos about online marketing, business, entrepreneurship, and make money online. So these AIs keep getting better and better. Gone are those days that you have to like brainstorm for days, for hours before coming up with a blog post. Now you can use AI to generate a blog post. And I don't mean any form of generic blog post. I mean search engine optimized blog post. So stay with me because this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. If you have any questions or anything you want to share, just drop it in the comment section. As a creator, you need tools that would speed your creativity and increase your overall productivity. In November 2022, ChatGPT was released and in under five days, it gained five million users. Since then, blogging and content creation has changed. You can now automate certain things. You can now automate certain tasks by just imputing a text prompt. So to stay competitive right now, you need to be faster. You need to learn how to use this AI tool to generate more content, to get relevant results, to get relevant keywords, and to make more money. You can use AI to generate ideas for articles, content scripts, content ideas, and you can also use it for content calendar. Maybe creating a calendar for posting your content or for batching your content. Another interesting way you can use AI is for updating your content. Let's say you're stuck, you're creating a content, you're writing an article and you're stuck. AI can complete the article for you or it can also give you ideas for you to complete that article. And you can also use AI to generate ideas for articles that would generate affiliate revenue. The goal is to use this AI to speed up content creation and also to create high quality content. The fact that you can generate content in seconds doesn't mean you should just generate 100 blog posts and start putting it out. No, there's a high possibility that it won't have that human feel. So you still have to add that human feel to the contents that you're creating to make it stand out. You want your content to stand out from everyone because you know that a lot of people are using this tool. So you want to use this tool and also add your touch, your feel to the contents that you're generating. So there are several AI tools that can help you speed up your content creation process. There's ChatGPT, Jasper, Quillbot, Grammarly, and Sofa SEO. So there are also AI detectors that can detect if a content is written by AI. Now, search engines can detect if your content is written by AI or if it's human. That's why you need to add that human feel to your content and make it yours, make it unique so that it doesn't affect your Google ranking. There are other AIs that can help you generate images for your blog. We have um, Dali, we have Mid Journey, and we have Adobe Firefly. So these AIs can help you generate unique images for your blog post. Remember, the goal is to create content that can bypass the AI content detector. You don't want to spam a bunch of AI content on your blog. It is not good for you. Google doesn't like that. Google loves, you know, unique things, content that is unique, content that has that human feel. So you want to create helpful content that is unique and that has that human feel. So to get started, go to chat.openai.com. Once you log in, you would have an interface like this. If you're not signed up, you have to sign up to log in, sign up. If you're using ChatGPT for the first time, you won't see your interface won't be like this. You won't see all these things. All these are just, in case you're wondering, all these are just prompts. And I installed an extension that has over 2000 prompts. So for example, if I want to use this prompt, I can just click on it and then put in anything I want to put in a keyword and then it's going to generate what I want. So the name of the prompt is AIPRM. So if you want it, you could just go to Google and search for AI PRM for ChatGPT and click on our first result. It's going to show this. I already have mine installed. So once you install it, you're going to have over 2000 prompts installed in your ChatGPT. So for example, if I want to create human writing, 100% unique SEO optimized article, I can just click on this and then put in a keyword or a title and then it's going to generate that article for me. But I don't want to do it this way. 
if you're using ChatGPT, one thing I've noticed that if you're trying to give it a lot of prompt in one go, you won't get a good result. You won't get a clear result. So um, what I'll do in this tutorial is to take it step by step. I'll take you step by step out to do it. For example, I'm going to start like someone that doesn't have any niche, that doesn't know the niche to start with. So I'm going to start with a first prompt. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, this is the prompt. I am starting a blog. Give me a list of possible niches I could consider for my blog. So I'm starting, I don't know. I want to find out the niches that I can consider for my blog. Travel, share experience tips and recommendations for various destinations, food, write about recipes, cooking techniques and restaurant reviews. So it's just telling me possible niches I could start my blog. My blog could be about. I could decide to start a blog on health and wellness, personal development, technology, education, finance, parenting, all of that. So you can see that's giving me all these things. Now, to take it a step further, if I don't know, I can just ask it to tell me more about each of these niches, to tell me their target markets and also the customer avatar or the audience avatar. So give me reasons for considering each niche, identify the target market, create an audience and customer avatar for them. So I'm going to send this prompt. So it's generating the result. You can see the first one for travel. People love to explore new places and cultures and travel blogs provide inspiration and practical advice. Target market, travel enthusiasts, adventure seekers, and those who value experiences over material possessions. Audience avatar, a 30 something single professional who has a stable income and loves to take off on a new adventure every few months. So you can see it is doing that for all the niches. So if you want to find out more about each niche, it's just going to show you the kind of um, customer or audience you'll be reaching. So for example, for Parents, you can see this raising children is both rewarding and challenging and blogs about it provide support and advice target markets parents caregivers and those who are interested in child development audience avatar a 35 something stay at home mom who wants to create a nurturing and stimulating environment for our children and needs tips on discipline nutrition and education so it has done this for all of them so you can see it gave me 15 results and here is just 11 so if you want more if you want to continue you can just put in please continue writing please continue writing and then it's going to continue from where i stopped so all these are nice niches. All these are great niches. Now I want to do this, want to do something else. We are going to tell it to arrange it in a table format. So put it in a table format, add serial number to the table so that we can see this properly and make a good decision on what niche to choose. So I told you to put it in a table format, add serial number to the table. So it's putting all this information in the table and it's adding a serial number to it. I use ChatGPT every day and it's there to help you. You don't want to sleep on it. You can see it's putting all that results in a table format. So it just stopped here. We're going to tell it to continue writing. Please continue. And then it's going to continue. Okay, I think it didn't generate it well. So we say, please continue with table format. With the table. Please continue writing. Use table format. Okay, 12. Okay, now it has continued. I think it skipped 11. Hmm, but that's fine. So you can see niche, reason for considering, target market, audience avatar. So it's going to continue, and I think the last on the list is number 15. And it's going to stop there. So it has finished generating the niches with the reason for considering, the target market, and the audience avatar. And it did that in a table format. Now I can choose a niche. As someone that doesn't know what to do so you can see from here health and wellness you can see the reason growing industry with increasing demand for information and advice on health and well-being the target market health conscious individuals fitness enthusiasts and those with medical conditions audience avatar a 35 something working professional who wants to maintain a healthy lifestyle and prevent chronic diseases so you can see it has done all this so now i'm going to choose a niche I think I'm going to go with the sports niche. Sports niche is number 13. The reason why I asked it to show me the target market and the audience avatar is so that I would have an idea of what niche I want to I want to go into, why I'm going to that niche. And I'll be able to envision the people or my audience, envision the kind of people that I'll be creating the blog post for and my potential customers. Because obviously with time, I'm going to be selling to these people. 
So we are going to say act as an expert blog writer slash publisher based on the reasons target market and audience customer avatar give me topic ideas for number 13. Number 13 is sports. So it has started writing, sure, based on the niche of sports, the target market of sports fans, athletes, and those interested in fitness and wellness, and the audience slash customer avatar of 25 something plus, fitness enthusiasts who love to play and watch various sports and want to stay updated on the latest news and trends here are some topic ideas for his post blog so it has given me 10 ideas so it says it's a mix of educational inspirational and thought-provoking content so you can see top 10 sports to try for fitness enthusiasts how to improve your basketball skills how to rise or the rise of women's sports breaking barriers and shattering so it has listed topics that i can create a blog about so if you want to go deep in this, you can just say, okay, uh, give me topic ideas for football. Or you can take it down to basketball or choose a particular sport. If you don't want to generalize on sports as a whole, you can just focus only on football or only on basketball or any other sport that you want to focus on. So we are going to select a topic here and continue. Uh, we can just say to act as an expert. Act as an expert in blogging. Write an article for i can say number eight but i'm just going to copy this how to improve your basketball skills tips from a pro so i'm going to copy this and paste it here act as an expert in blogging write an article on how to improve your basketball skills tips from a pro so it just generated this um, article for me and there are two things one this article is short i don't know how many words i can ask it um how many words is this okay this article is 224 words long so it's just 124 words long if this is not enough you can ask it to make it longer you can ask it to make it um 600 words and it's going to make it 600 words all right okay let's say make it 600 words you can ask it to make it simple make it 600 words it should be in simple conversational language so we are going to send this so you can see it's writing everything it's making it longer unlike this previous one that is just short it just gave a short description here it's just 224 words so i told you to make it longer make it 600 words and it should make it simple conversational it should be simple and conversational language so it has made it it has made it longer now there are two things the first problem with this is it still looks like ai content okay let's check it so for the first one we are going to check if ai content detector can detect if it was generated by an ai so we copy this and we're going to paste this here and click on detect text so the website is zero gpt so you can see 93.3 percent your text is ai gpt generated so it just highlighted the places that looks like ai generated content so let's check the second one we generated the second result we told it to be simple and it should be in a conversational language let's see the difference let's try it here and see detect you can see this one is 87.76%. Same thing, it's highlighting almost everything that is generated by AI. So we're going to see if we can train this AI to create or to write an article like a human. So we're entering this keyword. What are the key attributes of a conversational content that is undetectable as being written by AI? So based on the above, write me an article on, let's choose an article um, from the list of articles I suggested. Let's choose on the dark side of sports, addressing issues of doping and corruption. So um, let's tell it, based on the above, that's based on this, we are telling it based on this result that it gave to us here. We are seeing if you can train, we are trying to check if you can train the AI to write better content. We are saying based on this result here, Write me an article on the dark side of sports, addressing issues of doping and corruption. So we also told you to add relevant keywords and make it optimized for search engine. So we just click send. Okay, so it's writing. 
Okay, let's copy this. Uh, copy and let's check. Uh, I think zero ZPT is better. <laughs> Your text is AI GPT generated 100%. Okay, okay. So you can see that this training didn't work. We tried to train it, but it didn't work. This is Qbot. You use Qbot to paraphrase. Click on paraphraser, qbot.com. Click on paraphraser. We can rewrite any text. We can paraphrase it, and then it's going to change it. So let's um, pick the first and second paragraph. And then go to Qbot, paste it here. So for the free version of Qbot, it only allows, I think, 125 words. So if I put more than, if I copy everything, it's not going to allow it. So for example, let me just copy three paragraphs. So if I copy this and you can see it doesn't allow it. Uh, unlimited, but maximum word is 125 words. Maximum words, 125 words. So we're just going to delete the last paragraph and paraphrase this. Click on paraphrase. And then it's going to paraphrase the whole thing. So you can make it formal, simple, creative, and all of that. You can even shorten it. So now it has changed all this. So let's copy this and go to AI Detector and see if it's going to pass. Copy this. Okay, let's try um, zero GPT detect. 86.36%. So you can see that it still says this is generated by AI. We can rephrase it again. And we can copy it and check. So you can see it has reduced greatly to like 54.78%. So this is what you need to do. You can see this part that's, that I highlighted that is likely to be generated by AI. You can paraphrase it, go back to Qbot. This is the part. Remove this first part, paraphrase only this part, and then it's going to change it. So once you change it, this is going to reduce drastically. So that's what you need to do to make it unique. You either do that or you manually make this unique, make this yours. So you can see with QBot, you can make it undetectable by um, AI detector. You can see it has reduced by 54% because of this last paragraph. So I can re rewrite this last paragraph, paraphrase it with QBot, and then it's going to reduce drastically. So another thing we can do is to say, rewrite this above content so that it is not detected as AI content by AI content detectors. And this might work, it may not work, but let's see what happens. So it's still writing, but let's just copy this first three paragraph and let's copy this and let's go to the AI detector and see what happens. Detect text. So you can see it's showing that it's 100% generated by ChatGPT. So any content that ChatGPT generates can be detected by AI content detectors. So your solution is to edit the content manually by adding your own personal feel to the content or by going to Quillbot to paraphrase the content. So this is what I use. I use Quillbot to paraphrase my post, my blog post. When I get some from ChatGPT, I add my own personal feel to it. And for the part that I don't add, I paraphrase it. So this is what you do. Generate content from ChatGPT, add your personal feel, and then paraphrase the part that you feel um, you just want to get from ChatGPT without changing. Just paraphrase it with Quillbot. Another thing you can do is to get keywords for this if you don't have keywords. So you can tell it to give you keywords for the article. So you can say, give me keywords for this article and click on send. So it's going to generate keywords, sports, doping, corruption, atlas, performance enhancing drugs, transparency. You can just change it. If you want to edit the response, you can say, okay, um, suggest keywords for this article. Click on save and submit. Sports doping, corruption in sports, match fixing, performance enhancing drug, fair play in sports, sports ethics, transparency in sports, sports governance. So all these are keywords that I just suggested for this article. So with ChatGPT, you can do a lot. You can create blog articles. You can create content script for not just blog articles, for your videos, your YouTube videos, for any form of videos, your short form videos for TikTok, for Reels, Instagram Reels. You can also get content ideas from ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is very powerful. It is left for you to learn how to use this AI to improve your productivity, to make content creation process easy for yourself. So with ChatGPT, you can create a book, you can create a course with ChatGPT. But the key there 
It's not just to give it a prompt, create a book for me with this. No. So you need to just take it step by step for it to give you a good result. A result that actually makes sense. So you just don't want to add it, just to, okay, generate a book for me or give me a blog post on this. But you want to take it step by step. So um, ChatGPT can also give you prompts for mid journey. So let's say you want to generate an image and you don't know the prompt to use. You can head over to ChatGPT and ask it to give you a prompt for a particular image. When it gives you the prompt, you head over to mid journey and then mid journey is going to generate that image using the prompt that chat gpt gave to you now this is one of the best ways to generate blog images and text so chat gpt will generate the content for you the text and then mid journey or dal e will generate the images for you so in order to make this video short i don't want this video to be very long i'm not going to show you how to generate images in this video here so there are some helpful links i'll leave in the description you can check it out one of those links i'll show you how to generate an image with mid journey so you can use it on your blog post on or whatever content you're creating so if you have questions or anything you want to share just drop it in the comment section if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button turn on the notification and don't forget to like this video like it so it's going to help the video reach more people i'll see you in this other video